Hi everyone. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to transfer the FSMO roles from one domain to another domain through a GUI. To do that, we have to check on which server FSMO roles are on. So for that, we'll be opening a PowerShell window with the admin privileges from one of the domain controller. So I'll be running a query net dom query fsmo so when i run this command it will show you the roles where are there schema master is on ad02 domain naming master is on ad02 pdc is on ad01 rid AD01 infrastructure is on AD01. So before moving this, we'll be first checking the replication between the two domains. Is there any errors or any replication is pending? So let's run the few commands to verify that. So first command is we'll be doing a summary of the replication status. For so that is we are we'll be using admin rep admin space slash repl -M -E so when we run this it will show that replication there is no failures so it is good so next thing we'll be showing checking the status of the replication Admin. So, so last attempt it got configured was successful, and this one is successful. We know we have not seen any failures. We see the failures based on the errors we have to do a troubleshooting so we just have to check is there any replication is in a queue we'll be checking a queue so zero items are in queue there is no replication is going on Open admin tools, Windows admin tools. So first active directory domain and trust. We'll be opening this one. We'll be clicking on active directory domain and trust, right click, operation master. So operation master is on 02 and we can transfer it to 01. By clicking the change, it will do it to the 01. So it was successfully changed. So next, we'll be going to Active Directory Users and Computers. In that we'll be right clicking on a domain name and open the operation master so here we'll be seeing the three roles rid pdc and infrastructure so rid is on zero one we don't want to move it now infrastructure all three are on zero one so let's see by running a query where these roles are on again So except schema master, everything is on AD01. So let's check that one as well. For that we have to open MMC. Add and remove snap-ins. 
here you will be seeing a schema active directory schema if you don't see this we have to register it first the command to register is r e g s p r 32 space s e h m m g m t dot d l l so this is the command we have to run it to re register this machine so it got registered so once that is registered when you add a snap ins it will show this one click add okay right click click on operation master here it will show the change schema master it is currently on 02 and it will be moving to 02 because we already connected to 02 so let's close this and right click here change active directory domain controller i'll be changing it to this one okay now again i'll be going to operation master so now you see it here this is the target one we have to change it this is the source now and when you click the change yes operation master successfully transferred close so let's run a net dom command query once again and check so now everything is on ad01 so there is a one more method we can move it with the command line we can move all the roles to a different domain controller in one shot with a one single line command or we can move one by one so for that role and their numbers pdc emulator and its number is 0 rid master its number is 1 infrastructure master is 2 schema master is 3 domain naming master is 4 we can move one role at a time or we can move all the roles at a time so this is the command we will be using move iphone ad directory server operation master iphone identity we have to give the destination server name where we want to move it so uh, now all my roles are on 01 so i'll be moving them to ad02 iphone operation master role so if i want to move all the roles once so we can just give a 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 or we can give a one at a time and hit enter so it will prompt do you want to move role pdc emulator to the server 02 i said yes rid master to 02 yes 
infrastructure master to 02 yes schema master to 02 yes domain naming master yes so now it's got moved let me run a query fsmo see now all the roles got moved from one domain to another if you want to move one role at a time you can just use the same command like let's change it to 01 and here we have to give the domain naming master if I want to do a domain naming master just give a domain naming master and enter yes so now only domain naming master got moved to 01 so let's move the PDC to 01 So domain naming master and PDC is on one now. So these are the few commands to move the roles through a command line and through a GUI. If you have any query, please comment below. Thank you. I'll get back to you soon with the next video.